Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Jack Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You don't even know, do you, Rain? <laughs> they'll do fine they'll be fine i mean come on they're the main characters of this show they're gonna be fine i gotta check something for Uh -huh. Yeah, because your girlfriend, you didn't quit. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the hell's kitchen. <laughs> Weird like what? Mm -hmm. It actually could be. 
<laughs> I don't think so. I still don't think she's trying to jump. I think she's trying to look at something. Oh my god, not the freaking, um, the union or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. I mean, didn't we already figure out last week that that thing does not exist? <laughs> what? Don't be rash. Yeah. Is it your friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, family trouble? You know who I think she's talking about? She's talking about that girl that we saw last week. Because I think she is the girl. I'm not looking y'all off. Um, she's the girl from the first episode. When uh, Rin came into town. But then, okay. If she is, wouldn't she have recognized Rin? Maybe. <laughs> or it could just be her racing partner. <laughs> Misa. Okay, hold on. Why don't you talk to your partner? Oh, God. Yeah. Here he comes. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, um, go talk to your partner or something.
Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Shouldn't they be competing? Okay. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> See, that's the difference between people who are like, mm, let's just go out and go eat something versus let's go out and work out. And be like, shit. But she's still thinking about food. Oh my god, look at the pizza. I duped it. <laughs> it's so pudgy. I mean, not only is all your, like, freaking weight going to your boobs, it's also going to your stomach. Okay, lay down, baby. Oh, that looks so good. That's the cheat day. Like, you are like, fuck it. Let's eat anything and everything. I'm probably going to get some rice, some good chicken. Oh, my God. If you make some baked macaroni and cheese, you know, bitch, be friends. <laughs> you know it. Are you having trouble? <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. Mm, probably. You got pudgy. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Everybody else sees them in a relationship except me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But see, I feel like Fuka wants more. She want to be in a relationship with her. Just like freaking Ren. I mean, no, Misa. <laughs> I mean, how? Like, they also tell it short. Just like Ren and Misa. It's so fucking cute. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> God, I thought they would have changed that freaking logo, but no, not yet. Hmm. 
Um, don't be so sure about that. I mean, we haven't really seen these two. Oh my god. I think she becomes a completely different person when she's out on the water. How is somebody so freaking cute be so crazy? <laughs> Hmm, so that's what you meant. She literally sounds like the one girl from Six to a Five Dream. <laughs> I just can't remember her name right now. She's in the group RAS. And I love her so damn much. Crazy love. The possibility they won't be able to catch up. Hell, they might even leave this in a to be continued because we only got six minutes left. But she also has that cannon, so why didn't she use it though? Yeah, but it seems like she might be waiting for a right time to use it though. Out of ammo. Well, y'all screwed.
Okay, I swear to God, if they would have just ended it right there and said to be continued, I would have been hella pissed. Uh. Huh? <gasps> Seriously? But you can see- Oh my god. I'll take that, but- No, it's okay. You did good. You know, you act like a freaking crazy lunatic out here, but it's okay. You did awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah unlike you two with you know your relationship okay so Fuga, i really like her i think she's interesting <laughs> I, I like both of her personalities, whether, you know, she's nice, and then she is, like, crazy as fuck on, out on the track, but I get that, you know, sometimes that hypeness and just that energy, and people cheering for it, yeah, you go, you be some certain type of way, but she, uh, she reminds me of two characters, one from Benzini, and then, uh, Takumi from fucking Idol Master Cinderella Girls, because she is, like, literally exactly like her, except Takumi doesn't have that, like, different personalities she's more like how fumika uh, not fumika fuka was like when she's out in the water that's a personality completely 100 percent, no matter what and she always yells it sometimes gets on my nerves and i'm like you know what? Nah, i still like you you ain't one of my favorite characters but you still interesting but i mean <laughs> they look cute together honestly but i don't like the fact that this race ended in a draw the way the nose looked, and what I might do is I might go back and look from that photo finish. It looked like Rain and Misa were a little, like, this much ahead. Because look at the nose of the other, um, the other groups look. Because their nose was more flat face. And so I was like, okay, there's no way in hell. He got a pointy face nose. And it's gonna reach. So I assumed that they won. I was like, okay. And then they're like, no, it's a draw. And you're like, what the fuck is that? So we're having a beach episode. That, that makes sense. Even though we're technically always having a beach episode with this show in a way. I mean, because they're always on the water, but not every single freaking episode, but that's okay. I mean, okay, can we just please talk about the fact is no matter how many times people walk in on these two or listen to these two, it seems like, yes, everybody is assuming that Rin and Misa are in a relationship. And it's just like, yeah. That's what I want everybody to assume because it was just so freaking hilarious. I was like, somebody is going to walk in. I don't know who. I don't know when. Somebody's going to walk in and they're just going to miss it. <laughs> that whole scene of like Misa tickling the crap out of Rin. Just like, oh God, this is going to look highly sexual to somebody else. And they're going to just be looking like, what the hell are you two doing? Be like, are y'all in something else? Apparently so. I mean, because, I mean, they look good together. I'm sorry. Like, I've been shipping these two ever since episode one. And I just, we all know freaking Misa has, like, the biggest crush on Rin. So it's just like, you know, it, you just assume. You're not even assuming. You already put them in a damn relationship. It's just like, you're in a relationship no matter what. You finally exchange phone numbers. I mean, you know, last week's episode, freaking Rin wanted them to sleep in the same bed. Well, we didn't get to see that. I would have loved to see that because they're just so fucking cute. I mean, freaking Simpogear has freaking Hibiki and Miku in the same bed for, like, the first season. And then I'm like, oh my god, like, my baby, they look so cute. And then you have these two idiots. And I'm just like, okay, just let them sleep together. Not that way, but just, you know, sleep, sleep, cuddle. Because so, they're just so freaking cute. I mean, hmm. They're just fucking adorable, and I love them so much. So, uh, okay, if, from what it looks like, yes, again, it is a beach episode, so it seems like it's gonna be, 
from what someone has told me, even though I already knew this, um, it is going to be a date episode, but it's really just going to be everybody. And even though, like, someone told me, oh, well, you know, when friends go out in Japan, it's still a date. Well, I, I've been knew that because of reasons and stuff. But, I mean, oh, God. There are still times. They, they have done it where, in a way, Ren and Misa have gone out just themselves and stuff, but sometimes it wasn't as successful as I think me and a lot of other people who ship these two want it to be. So I think what I want next week is even though if it's all these girls all together in one whole episode going to the beach and hanging out, I still want a moment where Ren and Misa have like their alone time to just, you know, be like a lovey dovey couple, even though they're not a lovey dovey couple, because you know, I mean, seriously, just just do it, please. I just want that. They're just so fucking cute together, and I love them so damn much. But, yeah. Okay. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Easter's episode 9 of Jet Girls. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marvel Squad, and of course, I will see you guys especially all next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye, guys! Thank you.